back to Boiler House Garage and to part 8 of our video series testing various fuel brands for their octane rating. You may remember in the last video, part 7, we had a rather disappointing result from SO Synergy Supreme 99, finding two samples, one taken from Oxfordshire, one from Wiltshire, uh, measured uh, 93 RON, which is considerably lower than their advertised 99 RON. Uh, this could be causing problems uh, for people with plastic cars, such as pinking from pre-detonation, where the timing's set to uh, expect a particular octane of petrol. Also, if you have a modern car with a performance map, you'll be getting similar issues where a certain timing advance is set or expected. Uh, in today's video, we've been lucky enough for one of the channel subscribers to have sent in a sample of SO Synergy Supreme 99 from his local area, uh, Bangor in North Wales. Uh, so we have to start by saying a, a big thank you to Tom Davis. Uh, Tom, really appreciate your support and for the opportunity to test the fuel that's uh, a fairly long way from here. Uh, coincidentally, a mate of mine's recently got married and him and his wife have uh, gone to North Wales on their honeymoon. Well, he told me he was going to bang her for a week. Tom sent this sample in using one of these bottles designed for mixing petrol with two-stroke oil which is perfect as it won't leak, <laughs> leak, and it has expansion space if the petrol got hot in transit. He actually asked me to test it for ethanol content as he contacted SO Customer Services who basically said they believe it to be ethanol free as it comes from their Birmingham distribution centre and originally from the Fawley refinery which is miles away in Southampton, uh, but they couldn't guarantee that it doesn't contain any. I've decided to include this in the Octane series as if you've been uh, following the ones on ESSO I've had a theory that we're seeing lower than expected or advertised Octane as I believe that uh, ESSO are uh, formulating their additives to allow for the Octane boost that ethanol provides nationally. Uh, so the areas that are still getting zero ethanol super unleaded are actually getting a substandard additives package. Uh, I was sceptical from Tom's first email that the petrol in his area was ethanol free so if we find it does contain uh, ethanol I'll remove it from the sample and then see what octane uh, the remaining petrol is. So as we've seen and I've mentioned a few times in previous videos this octane tester cannot measure an accurate octane level of an ethanol blended petrol. The ethanol affects the result and gives too high a reading. So we'll just do a crude test here first. It maxes out at 110 octane, so if it does contain ethanol, that's normally what you get. We've got 109, so uh, as we saw with the uh, Texaco uh, sample, which in this area has, I think it was 2.5% uh, ethanol in its super unleaded, uh, that, that's possibly what we've got here. Uh, so what we'll do next is test this for its uh, ethanol uh, percentage, as we've done in previous videos with the test tube. Once that's complete, what I'm going to do is then extract the ethanol from the entire sample and then do a full octane test uh, on the petrol with the ethanol extracted and then we can get an accurate octane reading where we can see if my theory is sound on the idea that the ethanol free petrol is not getting the octane boost uh, in the additives package that they add in this area. Uh, should the base petrol read around 93 octane. I used to go out with a Welsh tattoo artist and she said she wanted to do a tattoo of a well-known place in North Wales down the length of my willy. I said, what? And she said, no, real. <laughs> Right, we'll just give that five minutes to settle. That Welsh tattoo artist I was seeing, she actually had 36 double Ds, and I think you'll agree, that is a really long name. <laughs> We're back and the results are in. The SO Synergy Supreme sample taken from Bangor SO in North Wales does have uh, ethanol present. The water line has risen from 300 millilitres to 321. 
If you look at part 15 of my ethanol testing playlist, which is the JET E10, uh, I'll overlay a chart from that to uh, show you the various uh, levels you would expect the water line to be uh, once you have different percentages of ethanol present in the petrol. At 321 millilitres, that is indicative of 3% ethanol. So this petrol sample is technically E3 and it's advertised as being up to E5. So now we know that the Bangor SO Synergy Supreme sample does contain ethanol. I've extracted the ethanol from the uh, fuel and now we're going to test the octane of this to see if we can uh, back up my theory about the fuel level being uh, around 93 octane here and then the additives package including ethanol is making it the 99 ron they advertise it to be and it just means without the ethanol in it in the areas where we still get ethanol free petrol is where we're seeing the lower octane rating So we've got 94, so only one run above the petrol samples that we've tested in the south here. So to be honest, I'm happy with that. If it said 92, I'd be uh, yeah just as confident that my theory is sound. I think what's happening is that ESSO are uh, distributing petrol, their super unleaded petrol, throughout the UK with the additives package that basically makes it the product it is the same formula no matter where you are in the country so in the areas where we don't have ethanol in the super unleaded fuel it's not getting the octane boost that you get from the properties of ethanol so that's why we're getting 93 octane fuel in the ethanol free areas uh, because i believe the uh, petrol here uh, this is basically the same fuel that we're actually putting into our tanks and we're paying uh, a, a premium to get 99 octane even though it isn't 99 octane here it's it's showing 93 octane on the fuel samples i've tested it's 94 octane here it's close enough like i said to make me more confident in my theory i think at this point it is worth contacting so's customer services or whether i do try and find another fuel sample to test that's in an area where it doesn't have ethanol but it is still several hours uh, from this area so it, it can still uh, give us more evidence that the uh, petrol uh, they're supplying without ethanol in it is never going to meet the 99 uh, ron that they advertise it to be but of course the flip side of that uh, i don't actually agree that they should be adding that any fuel company should be adding ethanol to their fuel or at least not giving you the option to have an ethanol free petrol so it's almost encouraging fuel companies to use the uh, bioethanol as an octane booster. What reaction we get from that is a, is a matter to consider. Uh, but the primary purpose of these tests is for basically the education or awareness of people who uh, don't really know what's in the petrol when they're putting them in their pride and joy at the car that they uh, use every day or a, a weekend classic or something that they're trying to uh, preserve to pass on to future generations. Uh, it's important to know what what you're actually putting in it to run it on it's like having a uh, trying to look after your body and eating crap food basically so it's it's on that principle yeah so sadly my relationship with a welsh tattoo artist ended when she accused me of having an affair with somebody from clan fire hoping gick okay queen drop off clan to silly or go 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 i said how can you say such a thing <laughs> so what a great result from the uh, Bangor sample that uh, was sent in by Tom so thanks again ever so much to uh, Tom Davis for that. Uh, I say it's a great result because for modesty I like being right and uh, it does appear that my hypothesis on SO fuel basically using a, a, a Nashan additive uh, isn't taken into account the fact that some areas don't have ethanol added to the fuel um, so it's sort of a, a, a give, gives with one takes away with the other when it comes to uh, not wanting ethanol in our petrol but then it's not meeting the octane rating that uh, it's supposed to. 
I would still like to do one more test on an SO fuel that's in server field but is ethanol free just to get that last result of it showing like 93 octane all around uh, just to sort of back up my claims further. Uh, so hopefully you'll be seeing that soon in another video. Uh, if anybody does want to send in a test sample like Tom did, um, uh, please do contact me if you've got any sort of issues. He, he did send this through uh, Royal Mail and uh, because the uh, this fuel mixing bottles got a good seal and it's a, a, a good container to to actually send and store petrol it gives us uh, some good options for other people to send in fuel i will of course be sending this back to him and i, I would to anybody who uh, sends in a sample uh, personally i would recommend probably using a courier over royal mail because royal mail tends to be a little bit more um fussy and what's being sent and obviously you can't say oh, i'm sending a, a batch of petrol to somebody through the post because they'll get uh, get a bit funny at the post office i'm sure so if you click on the about tab on my channel it should show you my email address if you want to actually contact me directly or just put something in the comments and i'll i'll try and contact you if there's any way of doing that on youtube because i would like to get some let's say samples further afield even if they're from other garages and uh, of course uh, for your interest whatever reason you want it tested you, i can test it for uh, ethanol and octane uh, assuming that the uh, fuel's uh, ethanol free, I can test it for octane or extract the ethanol from it and then uh, give you the octane rating on that if that's something you needed to know. Uh, go on in, one more. Two English tourists are driving through Wales and they stop off at lunch at Clamfire, Pocquin, Gilga, Gilquin, Grobok, Lanticelli, or Gogogog. Go. And they walk in and ask the girl at the counter if she can pronounce where they are very, very slowly. She leans over the counter and says, Sure, Burger King. Ha ha ha!